Hello and welcome back to Divide and Conquer. Where we last left off, we had taken Rawberg. We had sold Rawberg away for tw 20,000 coin with our allies, the Woodland Elves, or Elves of the Merc Elves of Mirkwood, Elves of Randall's Halls, whatever your connotation you want to call them. But now we need to try and defend it because it has no garrison in it yet. Though our Elven allies will surely send a small retinue to guard it sooner or later. Well, the first of the two armies we must beat is Muznak. A simple, small army. Nothing too hard to beat. But our infantry Fight truly has been... Oh, sorry. Our infantry has been broken slightly. From our attack at Rawberg. For many were lost. Now then, let's see if our efforts were in vain. So if we can't defeat those two armies, then it'll just reclaim Rollberg and it'll be back to square one. So now, uh, the line we always make. Archers in front, everyone else behind. Off skirmish in guard mode. Try and get them on the bad side of the hill. Now where should I be sending my lances off to? Raiders, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Archers, Archers, Host, and some Blades. Wait, where's the General? Ah, oh, there. I do want to try and get at least one charge off on the General, but for before we do that, let's try and Weaken those raiders. Because one good charge will be able to bring them down. Well, a substantial amount. Even when the unit's been brought down to only a third of its original size. Yeah, that should be a good place to end. I'm trying for the raiders, and this should make them want to come to attack us. If my knowledge of the AI is anything as good as I think it is. Excellent, that's 74. Oh no, even more than 70. Look at that. There's lots of orc bodies splattered on the ground. And now our archer can begin to f can begin to fire. Let's let the march wardens get the first picks. Let's send the lancers back. Excellent. Now everyone's ready to fire. Rain down upon them. Show them no mercy. Focus on the blades as well. Actually, don't, char don't charge into the raiders. Charge into those hunters. Oh, the poison arrows of the of Mirkwood Orcs. They're trying to find their mark. You focus on Maulers as well because they are they can they can actually be quite deadly in melee if you let them. Okay, pause. Those four alone should be able to do the job. Now let's keep those hunters preoccupied. Wow, a hunter actually managed to kill a... Yeah, that's... That's the pretty impressive from, much in a, our favor. from Mirkwood Victory Hunters. Will be ours. It's pretty impressive. Not impressive enough. Yeah. 
Come on, guys, we regain your composure and then charge them. No point in going in without lancers. Okay, ready? There we go. Keep charging in further. Look at that. I think that guy's dead. I think the banner carrier is going to be dead now. The enemy this. are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Okay, get him out. Oh, I've got to move the others. Damn it. And that was the org bodyguard. Okay. Let's try not shooting the guys that are already in combat, shall we? All the bodyguards already route, already beginning to rout. Be quick. Charge right into the side of them. Be a beautiful charge. Oh, they're routing. We're fighting to death. But still, they're broken. We broke them. We broke them. Our men have captured the enemy general. Only captured. Guard him well and Very make well. it so he can see us defeat the rest of his army. Okay, let's not have the archers actually shooting into our infantry, shall we? I'm not liking that. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. It's time to press the attack. It's almost over. Another small and simple battle. Ended in our enemy's total annihilation we once again. By the victory we have won here today. Uh, this is a great war, long planned, and we are but one piece in it. Whatever pride may say. Baragon, the Citadel Guard. Now then, with one, one army defeated, there's only another one to defeat. And then Rohrberg should be safe from any other orc incursions. Well, at least he'll give the at least he'll give them time to prepare a garrison. Set up an ambush. Nope. Execute them all. And next is Cap Captain Hoshgrish. And his army is a lot more devastating than I'm correct. Yep. Well, you remember troll catapults? We're gonna have to deal with them again. I think we're going to deal with them now. Engage! Nope, apparently not. Because even, even though you, you specifically mean to go for that area so you can actually attack them. Yeah. That's the, I think that's the one thing that annoys me the most. When when it's, when it's uh, when the Help. movement tracker says, you've got plenty of range, you've got, um, if you move into them, you'll have, you'll have plenty of range to attack them. And then you don't. That's the only thing I can really say and that truly annoys me. Other than that little inconvenience, everywhere is still building something. Except for Austin Giel. Do we need more culture? We can do some more free upkeep. Let's do that. And then the turn. I don't believe it. We'll actually start ending a turn with in with money in our coffers. Oh, it's a new day. Just hope our elven allies can protect Rollberg. So the last thing I want to be doing is having to take it again. And gifting off again. Yes, it's more. Yes, it's more money in the pocket. 
upon fortune that's also weakening our ally. At least I'm fairly certain that's what will happen. We'd be stronger, but our ally would not. Oh, we're going to do a door team. This is why you always protect your elven allies. Or any ally, because they'll always come to help you in that time of need. This would be a great battle. Oh, they run. The cowards. And another general is, is revealed his ugly face to the world. Dunlarak has fallen. Well done, dwarves. Dwarves. Dwarven. Yeah, Legolas should be able to keep Ilan in inactive. Friend. So the east is not the concern, it's just the south right now. I'm gonna stick you, my lord. This army is very ranged blade. focused. Two, three units of hunters. Catapult and ballista. Oh, okay, it's not that bad then. It does a lot of weak archers. Your attention is an honor, noble ally. So what's over here? Glockner. I'm gonna stick you. And the last guy. Approaching Morlock. I'm gonna Morlock. stick you. You're coming from Logarth. And the second we make contact and claim Logarth. That's it. The beginning of a new war. Oh, nice. The dwarves are actually starting to reclaim a bit of land over here. However, Grammar Vold is still under runic control. Oh, it's under siege. Come, my brothers. Have a taste of my blade. Oh, in Hoskrish. Evil must not be allowed to triumph this day. Their deadly voices rent the air. More unbearable they became, not less at each new cry. Yeah, never mess with the Nazgul when it comes to their screech. It, it can weaken even the strongest of men. Okay. We're going to want to run for that hill. There's no point in me trying to incapacitate the troll catapult with... My cavalry, because that's just a that's just a death sentence on its own. We need to try and claim the hill. And as long as we're in loose formation, the catapult can't hurt, cannot. It's more likely to hit us, but it's less likely to deal as much damage as it would. If the hill is in tight formation. Lancers, I need to try and get off to the side. If we can take out that ballista, that's a world of hurt we're losing. But yeah, the troll catapults, we're going to have to deal with them with Mordor as well, which is, yeah. You, we are, we are, you have not seen the last of these troll catapults, because Mordor is going to have a field day with them against us. But before we focus about Mordor, let's focus about Focus with the shadow of Mirkwood. And later, the runic clans. Or tribes. No, it's Heradric tribes, runic clans. I keep forgetting that, that the people of Rune are uh, tribesmen. Not, not tribesmen, they are clansmen. This is, at least I think that's right. Charge to the raiders. Every unit we can bring down before they get into, ar into shooting distance. Just another unit we're not having to waste arrows on. Yeah, that made perfect English. <laughs> oh, there's more maulers. There are the pikes. Focus the sentinels upon them. And 
no, because that's, that's very weak in Mauler and host units. Not scared at all. But that Mauler unit. Oh no, that's not, that, that's not getting off easy. Yeah, don't let the formations be too tightly strewn together. Oh, beautiful. Now get out before anyone dies. Oh, well. Before anyone else dies. Get out before anyone else dies. We lost one, we don't want to lose any more. Ah, yes. Which one? Which unit am I on? I don't know. They're not in the for good formation. They're generally the wargs, so we just need to focus them down. If we charge in now, we can focus more arrow fire on that troll catapult. Trolls are ex extremely susceptible to archery, seeing that they can't get into melee and fight back. But that doesn't mean their range attack is any more destructive, or any less destructive, in fact. By the light of Elbereth, you shall perish. Now, how can... Which one of you can't reach? Oh, it's you. Because you guys have got terrible range. I've really got to start replacing you guys. I mean, after, after we defeated the... Orcs of Mer Shadow of Merkel, we're going to have to adopt the defensive stance for a good few turns as again. Because we're going to need to start getting our elites out and keep our, mil our militia tier, aka archers and woodland warriors, on the back burner. There's no way we can hope to defeat the golden hordes of Rune with this kind of army. Yes, it yes, to be a good battle, but it'd be a battle sacrificing many too many, perhaps too many lives. Excellent, we've got to the ballista. Oh no, how they're getting shot. Oh if no, we continue no. like this, we will smash the enemy. Our men have slain the enemy okay. general. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. Oh no, get them out of combat. Those are maulers and all, yeah. Jeez. What do you guys not know about? Get out of melee. Go away. What, what what part of that do you not get? Okay, you need to get into tight formation again. I need some of my archers around. Try sending Haldir further forward. Means the arcing shots. And that's like it's aim where he wants them to be. Let's try and get these around to aim at those troll catapults. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half Why are you head. still there? Why do they never listen to orders? Why can't they just walk away when I ask them to? 
Yeah, definitely aiming for Al the Haldir now, aren't they? Yep. If and then, go in and be useful. I don't know why they're standing still. They should be chasing at least something. They're not in God stance. See, like these guys. They're, they're chasing something. What, what are you doing? Okay, these guys, these guys are... Ugh. God, these woodland sentinels need some training. They don't seem to know what they're doing anymore. Walk into melee for no reason, then walking up to the enemy thinking, okay, let's let's just walk into these guys. We should, we'll be fine, right? No, you won't be fine. You'll be dead. Who are they? Oh, jeez. Why are you just stand, stop standing around and do something? For goodness. Ugh. Okay, how do they keep moving? <gasps> oh no, 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 no. So I'm getting to the melee with those damn trolls. Obviously, Archery isn't doing it. I already know I've lost too many L's in this fight. 10%. Ugh. Terrible. Well, they're no longer firing. That's the main thing. Okay, apparently the army, the unit can split off now. Doing random stuff they shouldn't be able to do. Yep, that definitely sounds like trolls. It's everything that annoys me. Trolls. Uh, they're almost dead though. Almost they're finished, everyone else is already routed, so. <laughs> You're running the wrong way, you fools. Uh, geez, it's too early in the morning for me. Ugh. Ugh. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. He can stop shooting now. We are six percent alone to these. The enemy trolls. army sees the field. That's this not good. This is a clear victory. Two hundred and forty-four dead. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. I'll start giving some more units over to, from the last Nornian boat. Come on, load screen, you can do it. They will not see us. Execute them. Yeah, the army is actually starting to get very badly wounded. Gotta start merging the girth and then together. My lord. Elven warriors. No point trying to send them back. Need some more infantry. My lord. Elves. My lord. Yes, my lord. For the light. My lord. Onward. Follow me. Have a taste of my blade. Glugnax is going to walk away. My lord. Boy, might as well. Come, my brothers. 
give him the fort that we're in, in his way. We can't we can't let them get we can't let the enemy come near Rohrberg because then they'll just take it with little opposition. As long as we're there, they won't be taking anything. Oh, chief! Oh yeah, chief Mognag. I wonder what happened to him. He, he was defeated, obviously, but he survived. Hmm. I would say impressive, but I'm not surprised. Orcs always have a, ten a tendency to just skulk back out of no, uh, just come back out of nowhere, skulking in the distance. There's some more centuries of Karen Amroth and Yvonne is chosen. So we start getting our elite infantry. I'm telling you, once that last stand script kicks in for the Orcs, we will need an army at Amon Lank to either defend or to go out and attack them because they might go for Dorling Var. And if they do, I'll have to keep, I'll have to get things ready there as well. Well, just another end turn for now. We're in the money, we're in the money. Oh. It's good to see we're now at a different point in our economic standings. Let me move the camera, I can't see anything. Nope, just gonna have to sit, just have to sit watching Dorling Bar. Erebor expands, yes. From which end? Oh, they took Gramavald, yes, 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 yes. Oh, Erebor, yes. Now I really need you to be my ally. My lord. Approaching their de What is it you wish to talk about? I will pay you... 3,000, because you seem to be very poor. I was almost... Why? Ugh. I'm gonna stick Even the smallest you. army can take out... It can yes, just claim... Lord. Lordship of a land that has no garrison to defend itself. By the light of Elbereth, have a taste of my blade. Ugh, I need to spit the army off, otherwise we'll never be able to defend Rawberg. I'm gonna stick you, my lord. Swiftly, come, my brothers. Like the wind, scatter them. We must defend these lands. Yeah, we're going to have to fight this. Because an auto resolve would mean we lose guys. And I don't want to lose guys. I want all their guys to die. Such so was still the power of the voice of Saruman. Even the Lord of the Nazgul did not question what it said. Yeah, even in Saruman's defeat, his greatest weapon was always his voice. Never mess with Saruman, especially if, especially if you can avoid it. If you can't avoid it, then oh well. You, 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 you made your bed, you're gonna have to lie in it. Don't need the cavalry in this fight, just a lot of arrow fire will do the trick. Focus the blades out down first since they're the unit that can run in. The pikes and only walk in. And, and, and I just like, like, like watching them tumble. Down they go. All the archer unit, all my Lorian archers focus on the pikes. The enemy are badly bloodied. 
They have lost I do like, I actually like the men. pike designs of the Auric Pikes. It's it's kind of like a how on, on the end like a halberd style um, pike. But there's, obviously there's just the generic pikes, and then you've got the um, the sword blade looking halberds of the shadow guard. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. I'm not satisfied yet. I'm not leaving until they're all dead. No, we take no prisoners here. Oh, you this got passed down. Clear Excellent. Victory. Nonetheless, it cannot be doubted but that when Denethor saw great forces arrayed against him in Mordor, and more still being gathered, he saw what that which truly is. Gandalf about Denethor's Palantir, the last debate. Yeah, through the Palantir, Denethor embraced madness. As he saw the workings of the Dark Lord. Our lands will be That's one army defeated. More. So, Sire. who's next? Advance. We'll eventually get uh, Vaya Morkan. Be vigilant. In. Oh, Legolas, what the hell happened I to your army? I fight your people as if they were my own. What the hell? Approaching and also, oh, that's a... Uh... My lord. I serve another master. You must deal with him. This may not look scary, just because it's not the go it's got not all golden. But look look at the look at the Arya Lad Dragon Guard. Skilled against mounts, face against armor. And that's just a that's slightly better than militia tier. Daratai crossbowmen, just your average crossbows, Daratai warriors. And you got your Balkov. And then Arya Lad uh, Dragon Riders. I don't know why I said Arya Lad, it's Aru Lad. Ugh. Yes, my lord. Rolberg is Your safe. Your is an honor, noble ally. And Logarth is our next target. By the light of Elbereth, scatter them. I think now with Imrafor there, or Imrafor, Imra, Imrafon there. I think it's safe to say that Rolberg is now on the hold of the elves of Mirkwood. Yes, some more sentinels, and Yvonne is chosen. I just, I just want to start showing them off, showing off the nicer units. Because oh, they are they they are lovely when they're put together in an army where everything actually is better than up than generic units. Come, my brothers. I don't know what I'm going to do with this most of this army yet. I'll probably just be training it all and then just have them all as garrison troops. Because I'm because I'm going to ha all have it as a second army. Elves. I feel like Haldir is going to. Um, I'm going to give him some other march wardens and sentinels. He'll be my just scouting army. I'm going to need a real hard hitting army that can just win in siege battles, and that's going to be the army led by Celeborn. And unfortunately, if we try to house any more armies than that, it's just expensive. It just gets. Um, out of control uh, how much with how much it costs but with our allies going as doing as well as they have oh I hadn't actually thought about that they might take Logarth well if they do take Logarth oh no they've already taken Ilan in I could tell by the border they've already taken Elan in. Oh dear. Are oh, we going to see a last stand script? 
Dorodor is diminished. Gondor is weakened. No, no last stand script. By the light of Elberith. Oh no, we're gonna we're gonna be able to reach Logar before Engage. they do. Yeah. Destroy it. Have your weapons ready, elves. Oh, but they've got shadow bows and guard. Oh dear. Oh well, with what we've, what we've got, it's better to wait. And because it's the last region of Dorldor. After we've taken Logarth, they'll commit retro. Oh wait. Is this? They've still got the scorch. Of course. The last Sanskrit um, says they need, they need only one left before they. Um, it's my the last stand script. Days no. And then once all readings have been taken, then they'll commit retro then um commit retrocide and lose. Now then, the Gervileg are good. But because of their short range. Oh, but they have They're decent in they're decent in melee. They are very decent in melee. And they've got armor piercing arrows. Uh, I just prefer the Elbref archers. I think for now we should probably stop making any more units. Glucknack and Crimp are going to be held up by our allies. I'm going to stick you. Yeah, but. Uh, this this poor army, very Amorcan, can't even get into contact with my ally, so I can join the army. It's a sad state of affairs. Get more March Wardens. We're starting towards the, our more elite units. We have got Uber Elites, which are the March Wardens, not the March Wardens, the Elbereth units. But with units like the Lafrin March Wardens, Yavanna's Chosen, and Sentinels of Karen Amroth, I think we'll do fine. And then we're getting supplemented as well with a strong, a stronger, well, strong ish archery choices with the Woodland Sentinels and the. Uh, Elder Council. Yeah, things are going our way. So they stay that way. Oh no, the Dwarven King is dead. And that means the Dwarven King of Erebor. Whoa, okay. Dane just died to a giant, massive Angmarim, ar Angmarim army that now have Gundabad. But at least the Vale of Andor has something else to do now. And hopefully they can take it. And to be honest, if I had an army that could go up there, I'd take it. In fact... Is it worth thinking about making an army to take up there? Oh, that's their um, last stand script army. They've got Rudar cavalry, pikemen, axemen, raiders, archers. Then they've got the witch realm units. These units are stronger than the black, um, the Mirkwood Uruks and the Uruks of Mordor. Because they are good. And they're not even Urukai, these are just orcs. Orcs in extremely heavy armor. Oh, the Conqueror of Gundabad, Muzdush. Yeah, Erebor didn't stand a chance. Poor Dane. At least you say it's lore appropriate. Dane dies. Let's get another Gwaifi Idith in. Erenthin, that's it. Gwaifi Erenthin.
I mean, if I wanted to, I could just send up most of the garrison from Phallus Nornian boat and Dorling Var and go. With how long it'd take me to get there, it's not, not exactly worth it. For the light! Swiftly! Be vigilant. Elves! Take out Phallus no oh no, we can't take Phallus Phallus no him for a second. Yes, my lord. Take out the archers, those my sentinels, lord. and the Elven sentinels of the Girth and End. Yes, my lord. Then, and let's send them to Dorlingvar to be retrained. Send the Woodland Warriors over to Amon Lang to be Onward. retrained. Oh, that's actually quite. That, that's, that, that, those are most of our elite yes, archers. Elves. Have a taste of my play. By the light of Elbereth. Oh yeah, we have to give mo give most of our elite archers up for. Yeah, so Logarth is going to be one of the areas we're going to have to defend with a massive army. And then so will Dorfalu. Though we are going to give Dorfalu up to our allies, the dwarves of Erebor. Do I want to do that? It's only an encampment. Depends on how well it's upgraded, honestly. Come, if, it's, if it really is well upgraded and worth me, t worth me keeping, I'll keep it. If it's extremely, if it's mainly buildings that only the orcs can take set, um, use from, then I might as well just sell it off to the highest bidder. But for now, yeah, I'm just going to play the waiting game. There's no point in um, attacking directly because the garrison on it, in it, on it, uh, there, 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 there. the garrison inside Logarth is quite substantial. Honestly, it's probably stronger than the, uh, the army that was at uh, Rohrberg. We also need to res respect the fact that once we've taken Logarth and the Orcs don't have any other regions that haven't been able to spot out yet, then the last stand script will finally kick in the script I've been saying for 40 turns now will eventually appear. Will finally appear and it will be devastating. We will have to deal with a very big army. Approaching and probably the biggest way. army we're ever gonna have to we're probably ever gonna have to deal with. Oh, it's got some upgrades from the force so all we got master masons. It's got roads. Practice range. That sounds pretty decent. That sounds worth taking. How are relationship with Angmar good? Uh, I don't. I don't know why I, bo why I bother asking questions like that. I don't know why I was thinking of doing that either. That's just expensive. Let's get. Let's get the third ground. Above all else, Karas Galafon is a city. And that sit I do want this city to generate me a lot of income. I do want Irui to upgrade to the final uh, level of city, large city, so it can make me even more money when it once it's at highest the highest tier. Because once it's at once it's there. Uh Actually, is it? yeah, it just means I can get the merchant's quarter, which, damn, that's really good. But I'm fairly certain it's ex very expensive as well. So it's definitely, uh, you make it quick and you can make uh, make a lot of money from it. Or you wait around and there's no point in making it because it takes too long to make. My Lord. So yeah, Ilanin is nicely in the hands of our allies. The elves currently only have one enemy. Approaching quietly. Approaching that's the same enemy quietly. I have. Tomorrow's journey. But soon that that number is going to very quickly multiply. Approaching quietly. There's Vilta, led by Hakam Just. He's just got Lokrim bodyguard. Oh, the trading post. 
the trading post, for those that don't know, is a building that can only be made by the, um, I think, Dale, Rune, Harad, and Canned. But once you've made it and you get it to the highest tier, it makes obscene amounts of trade. I think uh, the DAC team brought it down a bit, but it still makes obscene amounts of income. So if you can make it, make it because you will not regret it because the amount of trade you make just scales out of proportion now how am i going to get them in that other's getting in the way Swiftly. i'm gonna stick you have a taste of my blade. come on is here good i'm gonna stick you yeah let's end the turn again I think was this end turn is finished. We'll call it an end there. Cause I feel like I've been rabbiting on a lot. We've had a, we've had a good few battles. But we'll leave it at the siege of Logarth eventually happening, and will happen in the next part. That I can guarantee. Unless something massive happens and I have to retreat, which isn't likely. But I'll tell I'll tell you this: once I know the last dance script has happened, and when it's gone, that army that is stationed inside Amon Lank, it won't cease to exist. But it will move so fast into the east and take so much land. Hopefully. Hope, hit this is hoping that there'll be that room will now have to focus on so well, room will be focusing on so much we can actually beat them. And Ruby has the builder's guild house, excellent. Get the market as well. I'm online has the army barracks, so you can now see the Elbreth swordsmen and Elbreth guards. Oh, I, I just love the golden armor of the Elbreth units. The Galathrim. Or the clip, cl uh, the clear between Anduin and Angmar. Knew it. Where did all the army go? Oh, Angmar declared war on Anduin. Approaching yep. Oh no. Well, it's somewhere. <laughs> oh, they're going to be somewhere. My lord. So their last region is Dorfalu. Once we've taken Logarth. Yes, my lord. Bloody elves! Take it for the elves! So in two more turns... Oh! Okay, I'm going to be extremely boring. Because I don't want to have to do another siege battle. Where it's just... Yeah, blah, blah, blah. And I know I, I'm not, I was already in the point of saying good farewell to this part, but... Yep. Jeez, that, that, that hurts a lot. We but Logarth is ours. Enter it! How are our relationships with uh, the Orcs and Merkwood only very poor? I'll never, Elves. we'll never know. Come on! I do know this. I'll tell you what I mean when I finished everything. Anything I don't need? Yeah, we've now got the mines, and the mining network. Can upgrade this to a stronghold. But yeah. We've now captured Logarth, and all that remains is Dorfalu. So next turn, hopefully, we'll see a last stand script. So I hope you enjoyed this part. And I will see you all next time. Farewell.